Yes, and actually a late update because they may be getting some relief, maybe not in the smell, but in what they're asking for. Because late today, if you live in El Segundo and you're being affected by this, you might be able to get an air conditioning, even a hotel room. So watch. And so we want to take, we want to own up to this. We a sanitation to... spokesperson outside the Hyperion Wastewater Treatment Plant where residents from El Segundo were getting ready to protest. We are your neighbor. We sit right here. Most live within a mile from the facility, which was shut down July 11th when a malfunction flooded with millions of gallons of sewage water that escaped into the ocean. There wasn't any public notification until the next day. I have a seven-year-old daughter that was at the beach the morning of the morning after the spill. The spill happened at 7 o'clock the night before. We were at the beach at 9 o'clock in the morning, and my beautiful daughter, who has lung issues because she's a micro preemie, was swimming in the ocean. So I didn't find out that any of this was happening until 5.30. While the beaches have been reopened, the stench from the plant continues. It's horrendous. So when it's coming into our home because we're in an apartment, that the windows and doors aren't sealed, and we're having to stuff things underneath it. What you're smelling now is a direct result of the flooding that occurred here on the, on the plant. Um, we discharged 17 million gallons, but there was a lot that discharged onto the plant campus itself. And so that is what we're trying feverishly to clean up as fast as we can. It may take a month, so they have accepted the city of El Segundo's request for vouchers for its residents. The criteria is you must be a resident of El, El Segundo, um, and you have to prove residency um, and you must submit an application within 24 hours of checking into a hotel or purchasing an air conditioning unit. El Segundo Mayor Drew Boyles telling us over the phone. We're doing everything we can to hold the city of LA accountable. We've actually asked Hyperion and the city of LA to come to our city council meeting August 17th to give us a full debrief of what transpired and more importantly how we can prevent something like this from happening in the future. In the meantime, if you want to find out more, you go to our website, Fox LA, because there are limitations as to the size of the TV, depending on the size of your house, and there are limitations in applications. So go to Fox LA. We put the links there so you can find out more. Live in front of the Hyperion plant, I'm Christina Gonzalez. Back to you in the studio.